Hello, my name is Ellie Barnes. I'm a writer, a librarian, and a lover of all things geeky. And today we're going to talk about fun, quick, geeky games. These are three of my favorite, inexpensive, quick to play, easy to carry around games. I would call them board games, but there's no board involved in any of these, so that doesn't really work. The first one is a dice game. It's called Zombie Dice. Wait, Zombie Dice. You are zombies off looking for brains. And you roll the dice. My sister and I made little brains to mark who had how many. Basically to keep score, and now I, every time we play it, we've got to get past the brains to get to the dice. Which I should have done before I turned into cash. Anyway. You have dice in here that you pull out, I believe three, out of the cup without looking, roll them, and see what you get. If you get brains, that's a point, essentially. Or it's a brain for you, the zombie. If you get feet, then the person you were chasing ran away. Or if you get this little blast, that's a shotgun to the head. And if you get so many of these, uh, you loot... You not only... How do I put this? You essentially lose that turn. All of the brains you gathered up to that point are gone. Well, not up to the entire point, but just in that round. I'm just going to let you read the, <laughs> read the rules of the game, which are in here and are pretty easy to understand. They also have an expansion that I thought was really fun. It's, um, it's called Double Feature, and it adds two characters who are in so many horror, horror films, the jock and the girl. So you can play with them as well, and you get... They have other skills, but they also have extra brains and things like that. The other... There's a single dice in the double feature pack that is Santa Claus, except Santa Claus is surprisingly pro-zombie, and he can give you extra brains, which is a lot of fun. I brought this and another game that I'm going to review called... Uh, it's actually right there. Forbidden Island. Uh, I brought these to a Christmas gift exchange. It went over pretty well. We tried to play both games, and in a party setting, Forbidden Island was a little complicated, but Zombie, zombie Dice went over really well. The next game I want to discuss is Love Letter. Now, I'm just going to acknowledge that all three of these I discovered through Geek and Sundry's Tabletop, which is a very fun show. I will link all three of their episodes on Love Letter, Sushi Go, and Zombie Dice below in the, uh, the info bar. Okay, so for Love Letter, this is essentially a card exchange bluffing game. It is really easy to carry around because it's all in this little bag right here. Everyone's trying to get their love letter to the princess. You do multiple rounds and then you get a little block if you win a round. It's extremely quick to play. Apparently there's a Batman version. I think you're trying to get something, a note into Arkham Asylum instead of getting a note to the princess, which I haven't played but looks like a lot of fun. I, for some reason, have lost this game to my mother repeatedly. And I don't know. She just seems to know when my sister and I are bluffing and she wins every time. Sushi Go is a card game where you're passing a hand of cards around and building your own set of sushi in front of you. Again, it's a multiple round kind of game. And they have the cutest cards that are little cartoon sushis that you're collecting. It is a little complicated to score because like the score for the dumplings you see it runs across the bottom and it how many points you get depends on how many dumpling cards you collect it's that kind of thing so there's some math involved when you sit down to score other than that it's just sort of cute silly fun I'm going on a trip at the end of this week and I'm probably going to take Sushi Go with me it's because we're going to a wedding and there's a lot of you know like sitting around and waiting for things to happen so again, these are all under $15. 
and easy to carry and easy to play and a lot of silly fun. Zombie dies, love letter, and sushi go. <laughs>